Hi, I'm Father Joe. I recently heard a great story about a teacher who was uh, trying to convince her class that the story of Jonah never happened. She was saying scientifically it's impossible and giving all these reasons when a little girl raised her hand and said, well, I believe it's real. I believe that it happened uh, because it says so in the Bible. And the teacher said, well, I don't know how you're going to prove that that story happened. And the little girl said, well, when I get to heaven, I'm going to ask Jonah. And the teacher said, well, what if you get to heaven and Jonah's not there? And the little girl said, well, then you can ask him. Yikes. Let's get right to this week's question. All right. We've got two of them. Dear Father Joe, how do we know that there is a God? That's a good question, and there's a lot of different ways that we can approach this, but I'm going to give you what I think is one of the easiest and best ways to, uh, to know that there is a God. Okay? Uh, what we call this is uh, the argument from design, and what's the idea? Well, let's say you're about to graduate, and uh, let's say you uh, are coming home from your commencement exercises, and you get to your house, and there's a big sign out front that says, Congratulations, graduate. And there's a whole bunch of people gathered there. Well, you would assume that someone put that sign up for you and because of your graduation. See, whenever you and I see design, we assume designer. When you look at me wearing these uh, very fashionable clerics, you don't assume that there was some kind of explosion of black cloth when I was walking by and it's a good thing I'm a priest because it came together in clerics. You know that this was an intentional thing on my part. Well, it's the same thing with the world around us. When you and I look at the world around us, we see that it is infinitely more complicated than a sign outside your house on the right day. You are more complicated than that. The world is more complicated than that. So when we see this level of design, we assume a designer. Let's look at the next question. Dear Father Joe, who created God? What was before God? This is a tough one. <laughs> this one's going to hurt your hair if I do it right. Okay? What we're going to do is something that St. Thomas Aquinas did a long time ago. We're going to start by thinking about this. Everything we see has a cause. Uh, everything we see had something that made it happen. So, for example, I guarantee if you're in school, you'll never be walking down the hall when a student appears in front of you. That's just not going to happen. You know that new people coming into the school are a result of something. Everything that happens has a cause. Now, here's where it gets crazy. So, let's keep backing it up. Okay? What caused this? What caused your parents? Well, their parents. And what caused them? Their parents. And what caused them? If we keep taking it back, think about it, then we should never be. If we require a cause, then what was the first cause? So St. Thomas Aquinas basically said, there must be something out there that doesn't require a cause. And if that's the case, that's the being we call God. Now, when we look at God that way then, words like before and after don't apply. It would be like me walking up to you and asking, well, have you changed your oil lately? And you're saying, well, my car doesn't need it. No, 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 not your car, you. Well, that question doesn't apply. And in the same way, words like before and after don't apply to God. Well, what I encourage you to do is to check out a book by Peter Kreeft, and it's called Fundamentals of the Faith. It's fun to read, it's good to read, and it answers a lot of these types of questions. So thanks for your questions. And enjoy another day in God's presence. Mm -hmm.